All right, let's watch the dev update. I didn't see it yet. Andre, also known as Medwa. And I'm Jeremy, AKA Riot Brightman. And we're back with another dev update with the real Andre this time. That's me. <laughs> today is Tuesday, March 26th. So as usual, everything that happens after today won't be covered in this video. Today we'll be joined by the modes team to talk a bit about Arena and an upcoming mode that we've teased a lot Five minutes? about oh, perfect. earlier this year. Then we'll talk about the updated champion mastery system and Lee Sin's visual update. Here's Eduardo and Selena to talk about modes. Hey everyone, I'm Eduardo Cadmus Cortejoso, team lead for modes on League. Hi, I'm Selena Chuchu Trang Liu, the delivery lead on the modes team. First, we want to give you a little update on Arena. In this Arena. most recent run, it was pretty successful. Though we did see play hours decrease quite a bit over the course of its run. We're making some improvements this time to try to give it a little bit of extra variety and longevity and giving it a longer run as a result to see how interest holds up over a longer period of time. Our goal with Arena is to be a great mode to play when you're looking to experiment with crazy build ideas or you just love to react to more unpredictable situations. A mode for dreamers and the memers. So, in order to do that, when Arena is back on PBE, you'll be seeing some changes that the team has been working on for a while. First, the lobby is going to increase to 16 players. We want each game of Arena to be okay. a little different from the last, Eight teams. but still competitive. So, increasing the amount of teams means that you shouldn't be able to see the is same there ranked Arena out yet? over and over. Is it out yet or not yet? One of the other changes the team has been working on is a substantial update to the item system. Yo, this they gotta fix the MMR system in Arena. Version of Arena has a new, unique. It just class rewards of items playing games to climb. Prismatic items are build defining in a way that should shape future build decisions during a match of Arena. For example, the Demon King's Crown increases your basic stats by a lot. But here's the fun part: it increases each round you win. But if you lose a round, you actually lose more than you gain. So make sure you become pretty. Gamba. Gamba. The way in which you also get items has been changed. You'll no longer only purchase items from the shop. Now you can actually gamble using anvils to purchase some items at More lower Gamba. Cost, just a little bit less reliably. Just We're loads still of Gamba. We're experimenting with Arena's next form. Our hope is that you'll tell us how this goes and how we can continue to grow Arena into something that you're really excited to be part of League moving forward. You can read a lot more about our goals for Arena and the changes in a dev blog coming out next week. All right, so now onto something we touched upon back in January. We told you all that we were cooking up another new game mode, and we wanted to tell you all this is what a I'm excited bit more for. about it today. We mentioned that we were making something that would be a little different take on League's core gameplay, but a bit more chill comparing to Arena. Well, after months of work, it's time to let you all know that we are currently working on our first Bullet Heaven Survivor PvE. Bullet Heaven. In this mode, you'll be able to fight against hordes of enemies by yourself or with friends. So whether you're looking for a challenge or you just want to have some fun with friends, we want this to be Bullet something Heaven, everyone can Bullet Heaven, mega good. I know a lot of us, myself included, have some pretty fond memories of previous PvE modes like Odyssey or Star Guardian. But this time, we wanted to make something markedly different. And while we aren't quite ready to show you much yet... Chat, is Bullet Heaven the one with a ceiling or is Bullet Heaven the one that's infinite? We can give you a little bit of an idea Damn, look at that. Holy fuck. Oh, obviously, it's in like alpha or some shit or mega alpha. I'm guessing you get upgrades as you fight. Wait, this looks like a great warm up. No? Isn't this just like a fun warm Level 99? This is going to be a mega warm up, no? Just warm up before you play a solo queue. Just play this. Fucking fight a million bots. Yeah, what this looks like early in development. Oh, and did we mention it'll be coming out alongside our upcoming mid-year event this year? Oh, it's coming out oh, this year. That's it for modes for mid-year. Wait, that's but we like hope summer. Enjoy the return of Arena, and we'll be back to that's share like more after news MSI. about our upcoming Bullet Heaven Survivor game mode. In a Yo, that's event. huge. Thanks for playing, and we'll see you all in Arena. In January, we Chat, that that's in like a month or two, right? Updating the champion mastery. Yo, they better fucking release system. that shit. When we announced it, there was some feedback from you all regarding the changes. And one Champion area mastery was that it felt bad to grind for titles and then lose them the next split. July, and August. We so we've made the champion-specific titles permanent. We're also changing the way you gain mastery points. Currently, your mastery score is impacted by your team's performance overall. But with this update, it'll only account for your own performance instead of factoring in your Bro, team's I don't even know what my mastery score is. I don't We're even know where to find it. also changing how much wins and losses are weighed. So even if you lose your game, you'll still progress your champion mastery more than you would today. We're targeting to launch this system with the changes we just mentioned on patch 1410 on May 15th. 
Okay, it's also been a bit since we talked about Lee Sin, so we wanted to give you a little update on how his visual overhaul is going. As one of our older and most iconic champions, Lee Sin needed a lot of work to meet our modern art and tech standards, while maintaining the feel that his mains have learned and come- Left one is cooler. Left one is cooler. I said it. Left one is cooler. ...to love over the years. This includes things like rebuilding his model from the ground up, making his appearance- yeah, but he looks like a Disney character now, man. It's like, I don't know if it's the outline that's like really thick that makes him look like a Disney character or if the colors are too bright. It's more consistent Come on, across man. all of his skins, adding new fluid animations and updated visual effects. And These animations are already clean as fuck. Closely, you might even be able to hear quite a few new sound effects. We also took this opportunity, no you're not, to address some issues players have noted over the years. With a keen eye on improving gameplay clarity, we made some bigger changes to how his abilities look and some skins like Storm Dragon Lee Sin, reducing the noisiness of his visual effects and bring the skin's design more in line with his base skin. If you want to learn more details about the process, check out the dev blog that's out now. You can expect to see mm. Lee Sin's visual update to be released with I'll wait till I see it, but I'm skeptical. On it's my one trick. Small, Don't ruin him. Maybe even tiny update on Timo. We're targeting Timo. his update to be ready later this year with patch 1420. All right, we wanted to give you a quick update on how we're handling ranked rewards now that we have three ranked splits per year. Similar to last year, Yo, we plan on having stop one man spamming. skin per ranked split. You spam changes equal bad baby rage, but you spam that once every second. You're the one yapping. Shut up. Split. And since the first split is ending in a few weeks, we wanted to let you know that Cogmore would be receiving the first Victoria skin of the year. Oh, then, no. for split two, the reward will be Victoria Sona. Now, if you unlock the Victoria skins for all three splits, you will also receive a victorious border for each of the skins at the end of the year that will Ooh. display your highest rank nice. across the year. Bro, listen. Listen. You might ha you you say you might say you hate change baby rage, okay? But two things, okay? Two things. One, this world's trophy clears every world's trophy ever made. I don't care that it has handles now. That world's trophy is fucking iconic and sick. Second, this challenger logo was fucking cool. Getting that challenger logo was the coolest thing ever. Now the challenger logo looks like a pile of shit. Okay, look at that. But that's not even a new one, is it? I don't even know. But that was fucking intergalactic levels of gameplay. The old icons, okay? So you can say changes are bad, but if you bring back the old world's trophy and you bring back the old fucking uh, ranked logos, then I will never complain again. Like, fine, if you're not gonna allow me to sideline, I'm just gonna team fight you to death. Looks and mid, not gonna lie. Like, Suck my fucking ball sack. Like what JDG do the best. It's Fuck team it. fight when it comes that to was a good dev blog, though. That was a good dev blog. That was cool. I like the idea of that game coming out.